with Avatar The Way of Water scheduled to be released soon, possible talks on future sequels have now become a topic of discussion. Find out what John Landau and James Cameron have to say as they share plans for Avatar 4 and 5. Also, find out the proposed release dates for Avatar 4 and 5. Watch this video for complete details. First up, James Cameron compares Avatar sequels to Lord of the Rings. According to an exclusive for Empire magazine, series director James Cameron has disclosed insights about the production process behind all the Avatar sequels, comparing them to the Lord of the Rings. In a wave of new information for the eagerly awaited sequel, Avatar The Way of Water, Cameron said to Empire magazine he would do it, but they needed to play a bigger game. He told the Fox regime at the time. He added that he doesn't want to keep making movies for the sake of it. He wants to present a more comprehensive tale. He remarked that he imagined there were a series of books like The Lord of the Rings, and they were adapting them. In a protracted production that started in 2017, Cameron shot the Avatar sequels back-to-back, -back, similar to Peter Jackson's Lord of the Rings trilogy. The first Avatar received accolades for its meticulous world construction, which is also appreciated for its use in Lord of the Rings. After more than a decade after its creation, Cameron will further develop the world of Avatar by showcasing Pandora's various ecosystems and cultures in the next sequels. Along with the production-related details provided by Cameron, Empire Magazine also unveiled a fresh image from the movie, showing a baby Navi, maybe one of Jake Sully's and Neytiri's offspring, relaxing in the sea alongside a huge whale-like creature. The picture shows the two having a connection with one another, giving viewers a preview of the lifelike CGI they will see. The picture gives viewers a closer look at what was hinted at in the movie's initial teaser, which showed the two swimming together underwater. Although it's unclear how much of a role their link will play in the story, it does remind viewers of a scene from the previous movie, where Jake bonded with the great Leonoteryx, also known to the Navi as Toruk. Audiences will finally be able to explore the oceans of Pandora when the movie premieres in theaters, as intrigue and expectation continue to grow. Next up, early responses to Avatar 2. Early reviews of Avatar The Way of Water have been overwhelmingly positive. Following the official synopsis, Sam Worthington and Zoe Saldana's Jake Sully and Neytiri are parents who have started and are struggling to sustain a family. They must leave their home and travel through Pandora to accomplish this. But Jake is charged with fighting the humans as a resurgent threat. The Avatar sequel stars Kate Winslet, Sigourney Weaver, Stephen Lang, and Eddie Falco. Initial reviews of James Cameron's movie, following its global premiere in London, have praised it for being just as brilliant and amazing as its predecessor. Many people criticized the film for being very long. Avatar The Way of Water, on the other hand, deserves praise for its visual appeal, more complex plot, compelling characters, and ethereal location. The movie's use of 3D has also drawn praise, making it a technological success with blatantly aesthetic objectives. Next up, reasons why the new Avatar box office expectations are much lower than the first. These encouraging early reviews portend well for the commercial success of Avatar The Way of Water. The movie encounters numerous issues as its broad release approaches. With production expenses believed to be between $350 and $400 million, it's one of the most expensive films ever produced in Hollywood, increasing the bar for box office success. Early reviews are positive, and noticeably rate Avatar The Way of Water higher than the original, which makes it less likely that it will outperform its predecessor at the box office. Avatar The Way of Water is likely to earn less money than the original Avatar, which is James Cameron's most commercially successful film. One of the most crucial motion capture technology movies of the 21st century, despite its ambiguous legacy, James Cameron's Avatar, nominated for three Academy Awards, is best known for becoming the all-time highest grossing movie. Over the course of its first release and subsequent re-releases, it earned almost $3 billion, outpacing popular films like Star Wars The Force Awakens and Avengers Endgame. James Cameron's planned sequel Avatar The Way of Water is anticipated to perform less commercially. According to Variety, Avatar 2 is expected to gross $650 million domestically, down 16% from Avatar's initial domestic run of $773 million. Even though the prediction takes the North American market into account, it implies that Avatar 2 might not be as exciting as its predecessor, which would still be a wonderful achievement. Although another movie might surpass Avatar's box office success in the future, it's unlikely that Avatar The Way of Water will. That's primarily because the plot of Avatar 2 requires more attention from a storytelling standpoint. Even though the Avatar universe is unquestionably beautiful, it can be difficult to remember the first movie's plot. Superheroes like Iron Man and Captain America don't have the same cultural 
cultural effect as Pandora's residence. A series like the Marvel Cinematic Universe has greatly benefited from the technological advancements in Avatar. Nevertheless, the methods have been used with much more well-known characters and frequently easier to follow narratives. People's anticipation for the sequel has decreased due to the 13-year wait for Avatar The Way of Water. Avatar is an intriguing movie because of James Cameron's systematic production process, which contrasts with many studios' haste to create a cinematic universe quickly. Marvel Studios has only released Iron Man and the Incredible Hulk prior to the release of Avatar in 2009. However, by the time Avatar 2 hits the theaters, the MCU will have produced a total of 28 movies and numerous television shows. Marvel has been able to cash in on its popularity, whilst Cameron has focused on perfecting underwater motion capture technology, as is evident from the stark contrast. Next up, still anticipate Avatar 2 to be a massive box office success. Avatar The Way of Water will unquestionably be a box office success. The amount of money that Top Gun Maverick made at the ticket office proves that moviegoers are returning. Outside of North America, the original Avatar film brought in more than $2 billion of its total earnings, with China proving to be a particularly lucrative market for James Cameron's film. In contrast, the box office predictions for Avatar 2 only incorporate the North American market. In the long run, Avatar The Way of Water could benefit from a similar approach, because it wasn't just its initial theatrical run that allowed it to earn $2.9 billion at the box office, but also subsequent re-releases that allowed it to beat out Avengers Endgame, which had briefly surpassed it at the top of the all-time box office. The usage of 3D in the film is also remarkable, since, like the last instance, it improves the viewing experience and isn't merely a gimmick. Because tickets for PLF, premium large format screenings like IMAX 3D, are costly, it's entirely likely that Avatar The Way of Water will earn even more money at the box office than the first movie, if enough people opt to see it in theaters and PLF screenings. It is encouraging and comforting that Avatar The Way of Water receives more favorable word of mouth. The film has a lot of high expectations for a theatrical release in a market that's not typically supportive of such releases. On December 16th, fans will get the opportunity to see the film for themselves, and decide whether or not it justifies the lofty goal it strives to. Next up, James Cameron and John Landau share plans for Avatar 4 and 5. Even though Avatar The Way of Water hits theaters, talk of potential sequels continues. James Cameron and John Landau provided updates on the upcoming sequels Avatar 4 and Avatar 5, which are dependent on the success of Avatar 2. Cameron made the decision to pen the scripts for four sequels after Avatar. Cameron described how the company would send him suggestions after finishing each script in an interview with Collider. However, the filmmaker was interested in what the studio had to say about Avatar 4. Cameron said he couldn't go into details, but all he could say was that the studio handed him three pages of notes when he submitted the script for two to them, and when he put in the script for three, they gave him a page of notes which meant he was getting better. He added that the studio executive over the films sent him an email after he turned in the script for four, acknowledging how good the notes were. Producer John Landau said that there are plans for some of Avatar 5 to take place on Earth, which might surprise viewers. He explained to Gizmodo that in movie 5, there's a segment of the tale where they journey to Earth, and they go there to make people aware of what is on Earth, including Neytiri. It's noteworthy to note that Neytiri is the main driver behind removing items from Pandora, the RDA's presence on Earth, where it has a considerable and self-serving influence over many of Pandora's issues, is a significant flaw in the 2009 film Avatar. According to prolific producer Landau, it is a burning desire to expose Neytiri to all that Earth has to offer outside of the RDA. The RDA does not just represent Earth, he told the journal. Not all people are bad, just as you're defined by the decisions you make in life. The Navi are not entirely good, and on Earth, that's the situation. Neytiri will be exposed to that too. The following sequels in the series will be released one at a time, with Avatar 4 expected to come out in 2026, and Avatar 5 expected to come out in 2028. Contrary to the other endeavors, filming's not currently reported to have started. In essence, it depends on how well the aforementioned movies do with the public. Time will tell how the Avatar universe develops, but the cast has made great promises for Avatar 2, so Pandora's future is promising. The release dates for Avatar 4 and 5 have been said to be 2026 and 2028 respectively. That's a long time from now. What are your expectations for Avatar 4 and 5? Let us know what you think in the comments section. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. We'll see you in the next video.